<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm good face. And I'm bad face. And if you're watching this, it means you're ready to learn how to play good, good face, face, bad, bad face. face. First, you'll need to look at the setup table in the rules to see how many cards you'll need. To begin, shuffle the cards and deal them out. The aim of the game is to collect four good faces in front of you and avoid the bad faces. You'll do that by making a stack of cards from the ones in your hand and passing it round the table. So each player has to decide whether they're going to risk turning the top card of the stack to find a good face or if they want to pass it on to the next person instead. No, oh, I want us to show you what we mean. Remember, you only need four good faces to win. If you turn over a bad face, it chases all the good faces in your party back into your hand. And if your party happens to be empty or has other bad faces in it, they'll just hang out together. If you want to get rid of a bad face, you can either turn over a good face to put it and a bad face back into your hand, or if you end up turning over a third bad face, all of them leave the party and go into your hand. And remember, whenever you turn over a good face card, you always get to choose again. But when you turn over a bad face card, you have to pass a stack onto the next player. No exceptions. Let's see how our players do, shall we? They went for it. Player two took a risk and got their reward. Into the party it goes. But they're not pushing their luck too far, so they decide to pass the stack on to player three. Player three doesn't think it's a good idea to take the card, so they decide to pass the pile on without taking a card. It's a bad face. Into the empty party it goes. Because it was a bad face, they have to pass the stack to the next player. Now it's back with player one. They have to draw at least one card because they made the stack. And would you look at that? It's a good face. When you choose the cards in your stack, you're trying to make sure it gets back to you with a good face or two on the top. Player one chooses not to turn over another card from the stack because they know the next card they hid was a bad face. So instead, they choose to end their turn by putting what's left of the stack back in their hand. The turn ends once the stack runs out of cards, or if it goes back into the stack owner's hands, like it did there. Now, it's the next player's turn to be the stack owner, as everyone continues to try and collect four good faces. And that's all there is to playing good face, bad face. Brilliant! Now, could you tell them about that fabulous potato club for me? You mean that thing that's free to join, where you can win games every week and get replacement game parts for life? No, tell them yourself. And you can join right now by clicking the link below. Enjoy! <laughs>